Kevin, during pregame, you mentioned about when shots aren't falling, are you still getting back, getting those stops? When the Hawks had that 13-point lead there in their first quarter, what did you see from your team and their ability to stay composed and resilient? Um, we said um, on the board, um, in our talk at 30 minutes, next play. Um, and we want to be a next play team. And that's what they did. They went to the next play, next play after that. And uh, they got stops when it's needed. And then second half, we just turned it up. Second half, they got 40 points. And then they had zero transition points. So that's showing growth in our team. And I always want us to have a growth mindset, not a survival mindset. And I said that before. So I just want them to continue to play with that energy and that effort, play together. I mean, Nick was a force down there. Uh, Dennis Smith Jr. came in and relieved us and got our defense going in the first half. And we just played together and we was connected. And that's one of our non-negotiables is, is uh, con connectivity. So uh, we want to keep that up. Um, we play with pace. And we always talk about sacrifice. And we want sacrifice to be your companion, not the enemy. And sometimes a lot of people think sacrifice is an enemy, but it's a companion. And we need to continue to have that sacrifice, no matter if it's CJ's night one night and then now it's Kale's night. You know, we're not going to compare ourselves. It's everybody's night. Um, and we can take turns with that. But I want us to continue to win together and win as a team and trust each other. Uh, trust yourself, trust each other, and trust the system. It seemed like, uh, Kevin, here, sorry. Uh, it seemed like the seeds for that third quarter run were planted in that second quarter run. I think you guys, I think it was 13-3, to three, and Mikhail hits that three to tie it right before halftime. What changed in the second quarter after that slow start in the first, you think? Force. Playing with force. Um, that's what changed. Playing with force on the offensive end, the defensive end. Our cuts were sharper. Um, on the offensive end, we shared to Kate. Um, and another thing, we stopped turning the ball over. I think we had five turnovers early, and then we stopped turning the ball over. So I tell you the recipe is no turnovers, low turnovers. Um, and when we do that and we have high assists and no no um, dead possessions, we win games. And uh, we want to keep that recipe. But I just thought our force overall, they played and they just hunted. Um, it was just great to see them hunt like that. And then Mikhail, obviously, in the last few games before, I believe before Thursday, a lot of chatter about obviously his struggling, but two-way play tonight. Just how much did you need from see from him? Just not just setting a tone offensively, but defensively, especially with those I think two steals and layups in the second half. But when you forget about yourself, you find yourself. And that's why I tell him, like, sometimes you just got to forget about yourself. It's not about you, Mikhail. And he understands that. And then that's when you find yourself. He just got lost in playing defense. And then all the offense came to him. So I just want our team to always understand that. Just get lost in the defensive end, and then the offense is going to come. The ball is going to find the hot player. Um, and that's what we did. We're sharing the basketball now. It's not sticking as much. And we want to keep that up. Kevin, and kind of sticking with that theme of force, six of the team's eight blocks came in the third quarter. What do you mm -hmm. see as the biggest factor behind that? Um, stop letting them catch, catch, and th catch and shoot threes. I think we, we really made a point of that being at their doorstop um, when they catch the ball and make them drive and then understanding that we got to pursue the drive, but we got Nick back there. And Nick was, he was a monster. Um, block shots, getting a rebound while he was on the ground. I mean, he was doing everything back there. But then just seeing the energy of the guys, Mikhail and Doe, when we get a stop, they bring in the energy, and that's what we want. We want to fall in love on the defensive side, and then the offensive stuff will take care of itself. Good.